Welcome back to your favorite channel. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. It's your boy PBK9's dog talk and TV and news and anything else you wanted to be for the day. You know, hope all my mothers had a great day, a great Mother's Day. Or, you know, depends on what part of the world or the country you're in. Um, just getting up to your Mother's Day or celebrating the day after Mother's Day. Hope you had a great one, man. It's your boy, like I said, giving it to them. Fair, unbiased, raw, and uncut. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you're hearing so far. Don't forget to drop down in the comments. Big salute to all the brothers and sisters that be down in the comments. Salute to all my folk from one side of America to the other. All my folk in the UK. All my folk all across this world when it comes to these dog lovers. And we're going to make it short and simple. Short and sweet today. You know, short and sweet today. Um... I want to send a shout out, you know, to King Long Swipe with the interview last night. Um, love the interview, brother. Um, and like I tell you, you know, you always welcome on the Bay Channel. And one thing, when I, I always tell brothers that come up and do interviews, and I'm going to keep saying this, you know, brothers who be on YouTube 24-7, they have a hard time with getting their feelings hurt sometimes for, for brothers saying things. Them chats... They're wicked. Them chats, they're going to say their own opinion, and you can't really go off that. You know what I'm saying? If you go off that chat, even I've done it. Once you start looking down in that chat, it's going to draw you into another world. You know what I'm saying? So anybody doing interviews, the best thing to do is just focus on your interview, what that brother or sister asking you, and that's just it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, take it from there. Because if you get down in that chat, the brothers will rip you apart down there. Them sisters will rip you apart. You know, and it just is what it is. And, and when it comes to stories, man, everybody's different. Everybody got their own thing that they've been through, their own struggle that they've been through. Um, nobody's perfect. Uh, we all trying to help each other reach that level to where, you know, each and every person happy. What, t what it takes to make one brother happy is not what it takes to make the next brother happy. You know, and sometimes we get it confused and say like, oh, because this is what it takes to make me happy. And I see this brother over here that may not have what I have. I'm thinking he not happy because he don't have what I have. No, nah, man, maybe it's just it don't take what it takes to make you happy, to make him happy. You know, so everybody got different stories. Everybody like different things. And that's what's going to make the dog game so great because none of us are the same. You know, even with the pit bulls, everybody like different stuff. Everybody like different lines, you know. So big shout out to King Long Swipe, man. And, and and welcome to the family, man. Welcome to the Bay. You know, I ain't sure how long you've been watching it, but welcome to the Bay, man. It is what it is. Now let's get on to this though. You know, let's get up, let's get up on this. Thompson Kennel still out there kicking up dust. Thompson's Thompson Kennel still kicking up dust out there. And you know, this comes, see, that's why I don't pay to put people houses and stuff online and go into all that personal stuff online when they don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do it on the slick end. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm going to say what I want when I feel like it when it comes to that dude because he a phony. You know, if he wasn't conducted himself like that in the past, I wouldn't have no reason to say anything about him. You know, but phony is as phony does. First thing is, you know, he hating on what them boys got going on over there with the digital dog show and their movement and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to speak on first things first. Okay. Now, this brother Thompson, he's been on YouTube for 15 years. Preacher said you was brave, but now it's all over. Nothing to bring to the table. You know, he did all the peddling he can do, but now he's in a different dog generation of YouTube brothers who know how to survive in this game, and he's kind of left behind. You know, whether he was monetized back in the days or not, don't get it twisted, my brothers. His channel, and one thing I don't do is pocket watch, but when you come bringing all that type of stuff to me, you know, I ain't going to forget it. At the end of the day, you know, they got what they call demonetization. <laughs> he, he wasn't getting enough consistent views over the years. You know what I'm saying? Over the years, over the years. So you can best believe he had to start from the bottom, just like everybody else, you know? And at the end of the day, he don't bring enough to the table, man, and that's what's hurting him because these brothers out here coming up with ideas, coming up with this, coming up with that. Everybody know he done lied or tried to use the South Carolina for so long. And, if, and folk know he don't got that real South Carolina DNA in him. Ain't no saving you. Now, when it comes to a dog, man, we know you're faking on that end. Now, the next thing we're trying to figure out is why you always want to fight everybody. And, and truthfully, Thompson, 
I don't think you can beat nobody you argued with from the past 15 years in the dogs. You know, none of the white brothers, none of the Mexican brothers, neither the black brothers. You know what I'm saying? You, you kind of suffering from that little man complex, Thompson. You know, little man complex. I done told you all your yellow dogs were bootleg. You didn't have a yellow dog in your dogs. They didn't come off of that stuff I was telling you was that bootleg stuff. You know, and another thing, why you haven't made any names for your dogs, Thompson? Everybody that you sell your dogs to apparently is seeming to be a better dog man than you because these brothers are making names for their dogs that they got off your stuff. But you can't make a name for your own dogs. You can't make a name for them. <laughs> now them brothers done realized and done figured out you never ever, you never ever got your feet dirty. You know, you never ever got your feet dirty. So now get up here and tell me <laughs> you ain't ever sold a dog way in back in the days just off the strength of people thinking you got your feet dirty. <laughs> See, <laughs> once they found out you never got your feet dirty, Pro and Game Mag never got your feet dirty, along with Buck City never got your feet dirty, and a few more never got your feet dirty. Once they figure out all that, man, folk look at you different because you done shot them that line all these years, this and that, and this like you was some big tough guy and really use a, a you know, a, a, I don't know what you is, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't on them boys' level to try to stop their movement. You can't stop what some of them got going on, man. Whether them boy, whether you get more views than them boys, it don't matter. Your movement, it, it can't fuck with them boys, period. You know, you, you don't got a movement, Thompson. You know, you got a few dogs, and you're over in South Carolina with a, with a New York complex of a New York brother who looked from his project window all his life would never was about none of that. You know what I'm saying? Never was about it. And then you moved down south, you know, and like I said, I think old oh boy, your cousin, they say old oh boy was your cousin and y'all kind of act the same. You know what I'm saying? Y'all kind of act the same. But the thing is, man, you can't hate on them boys. At the end of the day, you don't got nothing going on. Period. No, nobody don't really want your dogs. The one, them boys who sold you the dogs, you know, that you sold the dogs to, they done got them now and they making better breedings than what you was making with them. Ain't no saving you. You know, so it, what it all boils down to, when brothers be want to know what's puppy peddlers, what's this? No, a brother who's trying to make a couple of dollars off his dogs, I don't consider that puppy peddler. But a person like Thompson, you you consider that a bloodline peddler because he don't know nothing about the bloods. You know what I'm saying? Nothing about the bloods, but you claiming you throwing off good dogs. You know, are you claiming this or are you claiming that? And then all you got to do is listen to that brother, get up there and ask going hard questions that automatically make you know he never got his feet dirty. You another brother that just need to shut the hell up and sit down and listen and stop all that talking and, and wolfing like you're doing. You ain't kicking nobody ass. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know it. Some of y'all know it. I know it. You know, I'm just over here 30, 45 minutes away from you. You know, I done told you what I'd do to you. You know, I done told you. I was joking. You know, you know, we were going back and forth with me and M1 and all them other boys. You know, that's just back and forth. But me and you too close for it to be back and forth. And you went personal on me when you posed my house. So at the end of the day, my brother, like I told you, you know, 45 minutes away, you mad because you left behind, you washed up all these new channels, doing different things on a whole nother caliber what you doing. Only way you can fit in is when brothers mention your name or when you try to uh, respond back to another brother uh, video, like you can respond back to me, you know, respond back to Samurai, respond back to the next brother. You know, but at the end of the day, you washed up, Thompson. Like Yellow One told you, man, you washed up. You ain't got nothing going on, dog. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. Nothing. You know, you need to link up with your cousin over there. Link up with your cousin and y'all put them bulldogs and them dogs that you got together and, and, and start y'all your own thing. And then, you know, it is what it is. But as of right now, you got bootleg yellow, you know, and you got, you done lied to all them brothers. You know, and like that's that's why they making better dogs, cause you don't know which dogs to breed. You know, them bro, them boys know what dogs to breed, cause they active with these dogs in positive ways. They taking these dogs out, seeing how they structure is, seeing how their confirmation is compared to other dogs. You know what I'm saying? Seeing what they win is like compared to other dogs. Seeing what their activity level is like, pulling level is like compared to other dogs. When you just sitting over there lying to folk, you know what I'm saying? Lying to folk, and you wouldn't believe how many brothers came and hollered at you in the past because you was over here in South Carolina and they not knowing you ain't got a bit of damn South Carolina DNA in you. You ain't you ain't you ain't came over here and got like 
learn no South Carolina DNA. You know, you just a, a flunky, basically, man. A flunky hating on all them other boys. You know what I'm saying? Hating on all them other boys. You can't get up there and talk no dog history, no dog stories. That's what it's all about. You know, that's what it's all about. Why you knocking that movement, you know? And you ain't got no movement. But you ain't got nothing going on. You know? We all you is, we all you do have going on by mentioning your name, Thompson. You should pay all of us by helping you right now, my, my brother. You know? Because in the dog community, you washed up, dog. You know what I'm saying? The brothers got, got whatever dogs they're going to get from you. They don't need that. And if them brothers come to South Carolina, they ain't looking for that type of dog. They looking for them South Carolina dogs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, and they ain't what you got, big dog. You don't got that. <laughs> Your dogs don't rep. I tell you what, you ain't got enough Eli to rep the Eli stuff. Then you got that bootleg yellow. So you know, tell you, you might got some Mastiff. You might got some Cane Corso in that mother. Anything, man. The man told you what, uh, what, what Tant was doing. So you might got some of that Cane Corso and Dojo Argentina and all that up in them dogs. But at the end of the day, man, you the toughest small guy I've ever seen. You know what I'm saying? You the toughest guy, man. Toughest. All y'all boys be talking about fighting. Fighting, 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 fighting. Ain't fighting nothing. You know what I'm saying? Your dog's pussy just like you. You know? And that shit be going together, man. That shit be going together. These dogs get with other brothers with other mentalities. They turn out a whole different way. You know, I know y'all brothers done went and bought dogs and say, man, my dogs don't act like his. You know what I'm saying? That's because your mentality ain't like his. The dogs act like the owner. The owner pussy, the dogs act pussy. So when y'all went over there, y'all just bought them off the strength of the pads and all that, knowing what y'all can do with them. So when y'all got them home, the dogs took y'all mentality, and now they over there working. Now they over there running, jumping, acting like real bulldogs. His shit over there. That's all I'm going to say about it. His shit over there. <laughs> hey, man, it is what it is, man. Folk got to stop hating when they ain't got nothing going on and they washed up in the dog game, man. Brothers washed up and ain't got nothing going on with some washed up ass dogs. Silly, silly, man. Listen here. <laughs> We're waiting on an interview. and I, I want to do an interview with your tops and all I want to know about your dog history. We don't want to talk about nothing up to date. And, and, you know, we can talk about them bullies. You know, I heard you got some experience in that too, you know. They say, you you know, you got some spirits in the bullies so we can talk about the bullies and stuff like that, you know, and, and find out why, what took you, took you so long for these last 15 years, you know what I'm saying? Why you can't, uh, you know, grow in the YouTube community and why you still with the subscribers you got, you know, with the so-called clientele you got, why it still, still seeming like you trying to pull yourself up from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? You've been in there 15 years strong, big dog. Like them boys say, you and uh, old uh, master of all frauds. Y'all boys been in there the longest. Y'all just can't seem to find a way. And, and, did, and then the brothers you're dissing, you can't compare it to them. You know, you can go around the board and pick brothers out. You can't compare it to them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, hey, it don't hurt to stay in your lane sometimes. And right now, Thompson, you've been in my lane since you post my house. You know, I just sit back and wait. And time is now. You know, you can't be, be buttoning in everybody's stuff. And you ain't got nothing going on. And, like, hey, and we already know. Well, and what well, I done told you already. You always talking about putting on some boots, man. But you ain't ready to put on no boots. I ain't gonna lie to you, Thompson. I would never holler at none of these boys in the chat, old lady. But I would holler at yours. Like, just like I said, and I don't mean that in no disrespect. I just mean, dog, I know she, she deal with people with dogs, so I got me a good dog woman. You know what I'm saying? Added a good dog woman to the team, and I'll just go take her. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, you know, things will be a little different on this side of town. You know what I'm saying? Things will be a little different on this side of town. We ain't got the little man complex. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got that roly-poly complex, that little man complex, man. Hey, your brother hating on the dog show. 
Yeah, I say what I say, but it is what it is. Like I said, I told some of y'all a long time ago. And I told a lot of y'all a long time ago. A lot of us brothers, we might fight amongst each other, but I promise you this. We burn this bitch down, you get us pissed. And the thing about it, you know what I'm saying? A brother will think, oh, because you argue with him, or because you argue with him, oh, I can go argue with him now because he ain't got so-and-so to speak up for him, or he ain't got this and that. One thing about it, I'm going to always, no matter what arguments we get in, when these brothers doing positive things with these dogs, I'm going to say what I say, and I'm going to speak up for these brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't got enough brothers doing positive things. So before I let you take one of these brothers out that's doing positive, I'm going to stick in and stick my two cents in, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to make sure everybody that's trying to do something positive stay afloat. You know what I'm saying? Nobody getting knocked off that's trying to do something positive with these dogs, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about no, no personal feelings about this and about that. You ain't going to do it because when you knock that off, what can you bring? Okay, so if you stop some of them movement with the digital dog show, what you going to bring to us to, to, to give us what, what he giving us with this digital dog show? You know what I'm saying? What you going to bring? That's why I tell brothers, you know what I'm saying? We always want to knock the positive, but what you bring to the table. It's about what you bring to the table 2024 because we ain't on that old school shit. And everybody done hip to what you lying about. Thompson, you know, everybody know about what you lying about and all that type of stuff. People been hip to it, you know? So what do you bring to the table once you stop that movement the boys got? And what makes you hate the movement so bad? Yo, pass me the weeds, put my ashes out on these niggas, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? What makes you hate it so bad? Is it the brotherhood them brothers got? Is it the dogs they got? What is it that make you hate it? Um, is it, you know, what is it that make you hate them brothers' movement? One thing I can say, you know, I may have had words with this one or that one or this one or that one. It was never about, I didn't like the movement. You know what I'm saying? What I didn't like was certain things that were said, but one thing about it, I'm a man and I can get over it. You know what I'm saying? I can get over it and keep on trucking. And like I say, you ain't going to tear down nothing that's positive around me. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, if I sit, sit around knowing I'm trying to represent this positive thing, and I sit around and watch a brother who I know may have his own opinions about things, doing things his way, regardless, he's doing it the right way. You know what I'm saying? If I can represent Dark Dynasty, when y'all brothers want to kick, 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 and I take kicks too as well and rocks as well for trying to stick up for that brother, you know damn well I'm going to rock with another brother over here trying to do something positive. I don't care about all that other stuff in the past. You know what I'm saying? The brother never disrespect me in the way you did, Thompson. You know what I'm saying? We, you can say all these words. The words don't hurt me. And that's what you did don't hurt me, but it just showed me the level of childishness you're willing to go to. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, if I was living like I used to be living, you know what I'm saying? I made a lot of changes in my life for the better. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad I made all them changes because if I was living like that, dog, listen, man, I would have had somebody go wipe your whole yard out. I ain't got to send nobody over there to hurt you. I go find where you stay and get every dog you got and show you, show them to you different times on different videos. You know what I'm saying? And you can't prove nothing. You know? I, hey, at the end of the day, man, brothers don't brothers be saying things to different brothers and we get this youtube stuff and think youtubers be soft or this person be soft or that person be soft and nowadays times it ain't about being soft or hard it's about being smart you know and it is a day you know uh brothers has got to stay in their lane man and, and stop having too much pride to say damn dog you're doing something good or uh, damn dog i made a mistake or damn dog uh i, I you know I, I didn't mean for it to look that way you know, a lot of us got too much pride to even apologize about certain things. That's why I don't never hesitate when I want to give an apology about something. I don't hesitate to get right here in front of all y'all brothers and sisters, the same ones that I talk the trash in front of, and make the apology. Yeah, I could do it on the back street, you know, but you got to have that same heart, that same uh, uh, energy, you know, to talk to y'all brothers and sisters and give, give it to y'all the same way, even if I call you on the back street. You know, you heard me give the diss. So you hear me give the apology as well. A lot of brothers got too much pride for that. You know, and some brothers don't need apologizing too. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because it's getting to the point where you can see the bad apples. They don't want to change. They want to stay in certain classes. You leave them where they at. You keep doing what you're doing. Say what you want to say if you feel like saying something about them. But the hell with them, man. And they damn dogs. There's too many brothers out here doing the right things with their dogs. 
trying to do the right things, brothers that don't even got YouTube channels that's down here in these chats and stuff like that, that we can get dogs from, that we can get healthy dogs from. You got brothers who know how to work, like like, like the brother look, um, Legion Fury, drop down how to uh, clear your dog with parasites in the chat last night. So much good information come from a lot of these channels, man. You can, you can pretty much handle your dog if you pay attention to what brothers are saying. You know what I'm saying? And before we let the positive get away, you got these channels. Just imagine you have to go back to number computer voice channels because of the haters. The brothers that are trying to stop the positive movement and want to keep it stuck in a wild, wild west days that don't exist no more. Imagine if you just had to hear all computer voices. You couldn't get none of this knowledge that brothers give from different channel to channel down in them chats. You know what I'm saying? None of it. Computer voice, all that stuff is not going to translate the same way to y'all brothers to get y'all to talking like that down in the chats. You know? It just is what it is, man. You know, um, like I said, uh, I don't think Thompson can truthfully beat none of the brothers he ever, uh, you know, talked about their dogs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that the mentality from Thompson has rubbed off on his dogs, and that's why you see brothers who get dogs from him, their dogs act totally different. Like I was saying at the beginning of the video, their dogs act totally different. It's a different mentality. You no know, dogs take after their owners. Your owner pussy, the dog gonna be pussy. The dog might fight, but he gonna have a pussy mind frame. Might be a biter, might be any damn thing. You know, might be human aggressive, human, you know, terrified. It might be jittery. You know, there's no telling, man. But I just know some brothers need to stay in their lanes, you know what I'm saying, and sit back. You know, y'all had y'all time, man. Y'all had y'all time. Y'all wanted to talk about old pedigrees for the last for 10 to 15 years. You wanted to puppy peddle them dogs. You wanted to make somebody else's name stronger and stronger and stronger. We not from that era, homie. We from the era of making our name stronger. So you're not about to knock none of them brothers that's trying to make their damn name. You know what I'm saying? Samurai, um, Dickie Foster, uh, none of them brothers, man. Going hard, them doing their thing. Fat Bill, none of them brothers, man. Triple J doing his thing. Everybody talking about that positive stuff because we done been through all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, shh, it is what it is, man. You not going to knock them brothers. And especially, I always tell brothers, you ain't got no experience in the old school Wild Wild West days. So you ain't going to talk about no shit. None of my brothers about none of that stuff. You know, you don't even have an opinion about that shit, homie. You know what I'm saying? You just as old as... You just as old as us, if not older, and you ha you don't got no Wild Wild West experience, so shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Sit, sit your ass the fuck down. And that's how I feel about that. You don't got no opinion in this situation. Them young boys, they got opinions. You know what I'm saying? You don't got no opinion because you talk too much shit like you some Don Dada and you ain't even got your feet dirty. So like I say, shit, sit down, sit back, you know, and, and just listen sometimes. Learn something for the next 10 years because we gave you 15 years to bring something to the table and you ain't bring shit, you know, but a bunch of damn lies what brothers done figured out over the, over this time. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of lies. See, and at the end of the day, you know, um, you willing to get up there and talk to Yellow One, do a versus with Yellow One, right? But you won't do a versus with me, you know, because my verses start with, let's talk about this old school history. If you ain't got no old school history, that's like a, 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 come, a come in on the first round, hit you with a, you swing, I duck, and I hit you with a two-piece and knock you out. You know what I'm saying? What you really else, what else you really got to talk about? If we ain't talking about back in the days, okay, we could talk about health. Let's get up here and we're going to do our verses. We're starting with old school dog talk. You ain't got none of that. That's going to put you automatically down two, two or three knockdowns already in the fight. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go back and forth with health. I know a little something about health. You know whatever you know. We're going to talk about exercise. We're going to go back and forth with that. We're going to talk about confirmation. We're going to go back and forth with that. You know what I'm saying? So let's do a versus, dog. Like I said before, you ain't got that South Carolina DNA in you, homie. We don't move sneaky and do sneaky things like you. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it just is what it is, dog. You know, it is what it is. And all I, I, I can't say it enough, man. I can't say it enough. You know, them boys that you was... Woofing with back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Them boys, a lot of them boys were from the West Coast. You got brothers, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't even really in dogs. But Thompson, you don't fit in with real bulldogs, you know? You're not in that community from back in the days, that Wild Wild West community. You know, you in the modern day time, and that's what gets you upset because you really don't got no stories. And like I said before, everybody, your curtain pulled up. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, so what y'all brothers better stop doing, and I ain't talking about you, Thompson. I'm talking about a lot of brothers. Stop making yourself look like something to these folk. And these folk thinking y'all out here doing shit, and you ain't never touched nothing, and you're getting in trouble. Them folk want to put you and say, oh, you done been out here rolling for the last 20 years, and you ain't never been in the box in your life because you trying to make an impression on these people out here to sell puppies. Come on, Thompson. Y'all brothers got to stop that. You think we we wanted to get in trouble about our dogs or wanted to be in a situation like that, but one thing about it, you don't cry with spilt milk. You turn a bad situation into something good. And that's why I say, yeah, mine got taken. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I always say, any brother know how it feel to lose your dogs? You know how it feel to go in there and your favorite dog gone? Make you want to cry, my brother. It ain't no good feeling. So if I can stop one brother right there, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Now I can go to the next next part and tell brothers how they going to, when you get caught with drugs and dogs together, they automatically start saying you dog fighting. You know what I'm saying? They automatically saying you dog fighting. So that might help another brother. Whether you're doing one, maybe you might stop the other. You know, or stop one or the other. You know, helping brothers. You know, and you can't see that, Townsend, because you don't, you're not about helping. There's a lot of bulldogs out here just like you. All you care about is selling puppies, getting rid of puppies. And slowly but surely, y'all kind of bulldogs is getting washed up, man. These brothers want to buy dogs from people they can conversate with, that they can see eye to eye with, man. This ain't back in the days where they had to accept a dog from one of y'all big-ass kennels and they never get to talk to y'all. Man, these brothers get to talk to these brothers these days, get in arguments with these brothers, get on the same level, see if these brothers human like they is, see if these brothers go through the struggle like they do. I want a dog from him, man. He, he feel like I feel about the dogs. He take care of them like I want to take care of them. They didn't have a chance to know all that about these brothers. These brothers getting real in debt and learning these dog men lifestyles compared to the ones that they gassed up off of in these papers. You know, they were just selling y'all a puppy. And y'all got great dogs, some of y'all, but the people didn't give a shit about you. These days, you're going to deal with a dog man. you put putting yourself out there for dog men to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and vice versa. You know, and that's what messes Thompson up. Because there's too many good dog men that got too many good qualities in these dog communities. From the swampy swampies to the brothers who doing it on the good stuff. The swampy swampies is even, you know, putting more uh, stuff out than Thompson. Thompson is like the bottom of the barrel. But like I told y'all brothers, man, I ain't going to be here too long. I'm going to close this thing out with telling y'all brothers to stay prepared and get ready for that dog show next week. The South Bottom Kennels down south. Y'all brothers, sh give, show me them great videos and pics. I know y'all going to have them. Can't wait to see who the winners is. You know what I'm saying? Summer, I keep doing your thing like you're doing, big dog. Uh, the Shogun crew keep doing y'all thing like y'all doing it, man. Hey, it just is what it is, man. It just is what it is. You're going to have haters. You're going to have brothers try to stop the process. But, hey, one thing we always, we, one thing about it, when you're trying to do something good, you already know how it is. You know, uh, folk going to try to stop you. Black people always try to bring black people down when they doing good. The devil always come and try to tear you down when God got a blessing for you. And at the end of the day, man, the end of the day, uh, as long as you're doing positive, I mean, nobody can't hate on you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brother can like you or don't like you. It just is what it is when you're doing positive. And that's, that's the thing about it, man. Um, when you're doing positive, no matter if you're drawing... Uh, haters, enemies, or people that's going to like and love your content or your work or whatever you bring it to the table, you know, the positive going to always be, is, like I said before, is who be here the longest. Not who got the most. Because if you're doing negative with the most, you won't be here too long. That brother who's doing positive don't got no reason to not go nowhere unless the good Lord take him from here. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, he going to be here. You know, and that's why I say it ain't who got the most is who lasts the longest. Because once you're gone, all that what you had don't matter no more. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, y'all stay safe out there, man. Y'all stay legal out there. And remember, you know, a lot of brothers doesn't know it. You know, Thompson got the bootleg. You know, he ain't knocking out nobody. You know what I'm saying? He ain't knocking out nobody. And he the type of brother that, uh, he the type of brother that uh do that stuff behind your back. Flag you, call the take out a charge on you, all kind of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I could tell his style. He he, he like I said before, and I'm gonna go out on this. He got the little man syndrome, the little roly poly, the roly poly. You might not know what a roly poly is. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got South Carolina DNA. You know what I'm saying? You might not know what a roly poly is, but you got a roly poly, little man syndrome. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay legal. 
<laughs> keep doing y'all things. PBK nines. Have a have a have a have a great Mother's Day to all my mothers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out.